Hello and welcome to Big Orbit Games unboxing video of Carfight Vanguard's latest trial deck TDO4 Blue Cavalry of the Divine Marine Spirits Remember subscribe to our channel to check out our other videos as earlier we did an unboxing of GEB01 Cosmic Raw So my name is Simon, I'm from Big Orbit I'm joined today by James from Big Orbit Hello I'm James And I'm also joined by flamboyant regular Mick Hi pleased to meet you I'm Mick so then, let's start opening this up. So, I think I like the design of the new the new product boxes. I think it really stands out and looks quite unique on the shelf. I think it's very nice. Seems a lot easier to open as well. Yeah, it does seem that way. <laughs> as James fumbles both. <laughs> so there we go. Okay. So just going through the layers of cellophane to get to it. <laughs> Open up those precious cards. Okay. So first of all, we have the main card, Thavas, one who uh, one who surpasses the storm, Thavas, who is your sort of new leader of Aquaforce. When people st uh, stride over him, he has the ability of when if the turn is for a uh, battle for or more. He can choose three of your opponent's rearguards, and your opponent chooses one of them to retire. Also, he has a normal version and a triple R version. And then we've got the new stride for Aquaforce, Marine General of the Heavenly Scales, Tidal Boar Dragon, who, when his attack hits a vanguard, if it's the third battle or more, you draw a card, you can choose one card from your hand and put it on the rearguard circle, but that's a choice, so you can just keep the card in your hand for defense in the next turn. And he also gets a triple R version. Next we got Titan of Beam Fist, who, if counter blast one, he gets 3000 power. Who He's a grade three who works on the rearguard, so with his ability he can take down a a vanguard that has been cross right, cross road, who would be at 3, 13,000. You get four of him. Next we have Battery Boom Dragon, who's the other grade three, who has a generation break of one and he gains 6,000 power. Also, at the end of the battle that the unit attacked, if it's the first battle, this is a rearguard only ability, he can switch spaces with the unit behind him to give an extra attack which will help Thavas out a lot to get your fourth turn. Then we have Kelpie Rider Dennis who's the new 10k uh, grade 2, basically the Lazarus of the set. And Battle Siren Road who when she is uh, she's a grade 2 who has two, uh, 12,000 power when if she is at GB1. Next we got the main sort of main grade 2 of the set who also gets a, a triple R version a Magnum Assault who at the end of the battle that he attacked um, he can stand back up and gain 2000 power this allows him if he's, if he's boosted to attack the first time and then attack, uh, stand back up with the power of an average grade 3 to easily take down your opponent. Also a great way to get to the fourth battle. Um, he doesn't have a counter blast of one, unlike the Japanese version, because it they screwed up, <laughs> basically. Uh, yeah. yeah, so that was errata this morning. Bushy Road revealed, uh, uh, sorry, releasing official errata. Unfortunately, Magnum Assault, whilst referencing the fact that his ability has a cost, they kind of forgot to print the cost. Yeah. So it should read Counter Blast 1 on there. Next we have Hydro Hammer Sailor, who is an especial intercept, who, if you don't know what that means, if she's on the front row and she intercepts, you gain an extra 5k shield, allowing you to defend for 10k. Then there's Kelpie Rider Polo, who is the new 8k vanilla grade 1. Help boost Railgun Assault, who is the 10k grade one with a generation break of one. 
gun driver Draco kid. Who, um, but when he's at a generation break of one, he gives the extra 4k, so he's boosting your vanguard for 10,000. And then you perfect guard. So it nullifies an attack that coming at you if you discard a card. Is that Battle Siren Phydra? Yeah. Phydra! <laughs> <laughs> Mine Star Trooper. He's a, a great one. So if he's on the vanguard or rearguard circle, when something's attacking him, he gains 5k, so he's an 11k grade 1. When it's a helpful early game if you've rode him. Also notice as well, he's a dragon man as well. Yeah. Are there any other dragon people amongst the Aqua Force? I think there were in previous sets, but they haven't exactly been the most popular race. Next we got our forerunner, Officer Cadet Andre. Andre? Andre? Andre. Is, Andre? is it Andre? It's gotta be Andre. Alright, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> uh, counter blast one, put it into the soul, choose one of your rear guards, and it, at the end of a battle it attacked, stand and gains 2k, which as well it gives you the easy option of getting the fourth battle. Yes. Next we got the critical trigger, Bubble Bazooka Draco Kid. Get four of him. Four of Rainbow Sniper, who is the draw trigger. Two of keen-eyed seahorse soldier, stand trigger. Four of the heel trigger battle siren Carolina. And two of the officer cadet Alec Bors, who is another stand trigger but has the effect of uh, the same as battery boom where he can switch places with a card but he doesn't. it doesn't have to be a specific battle. He can do it at any battle. Also, he gets another triple R version. So that's just a quick rundown of all the different cards in the trial deck. So there you can see it spread out in all of its glory. Um, we'll start doing some discussion on different combos and like you know, how viable the deck is and stuff. But first, I just wanted to cover a few lighter issues. Um, just talk about sort of the cards in general. Uh, yes, one thing I'd like to mention is that this trial deck comes with four um, triple R foil cards. I'm really impressed with that because usually they only get one, maybe two, depending if you get like a, a limited edition card. Um, there are obviously some players out there or collectors who like to blink out their decks for more shiny cards. I mean, they could either uh, buy multiple decks to do so or use the Big Orbit Cards website to purchase individual cards. Yeah. And then something else I'd just like to point out, which is um, the artwork on the card. So obviously, uh, Ag Force is mostly a military operation. <laughs> but as you can see here, we've got some cards like this one, the Titan. Um, his artwork's not bad, don't get me wrong, but he looks very out of place when compared to all of these like armed and military operation cards. Um, it just seems he just stands out a bit, and again, the style of the artwork's just quite. It is just a bit of a juxtaposing card compared to everything else we see here. Um, yes, because you've got everyone like looking there either from the navy or special forces, while you've just got a golem, <laughs> <laughs> really, really, really big seagull. <laughs> yeah. mm. And again, as was pointed out here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. As you can see on Andre in the background, you can see uh, the artwork of what looks like Dolphin Soldier of High Speed Raids, which was an old stand trigger from the original Aqua Force. Uh, the reason this is another reason this is interesting is twofold. First of all, it shows that they're referencing older cards and other cards in the artwork, which is always nice. But also, Andre's ability allows another unit to restand, which is effectively what a stand trigger does, but he has to get put, put into the soul to do it. So you've got a stand trigger in the background, and he goes into the soul, and yeah, you get the point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something else that I've noticed as well going through the deck, uh, I, I love Carfight Vanguard for its flavour text. Um, some of them are absolutely wonderful. Um, I mean, looking here, uh, um, so we've got this <laughs> to start with Magnum Assault. Magnum's Assault. Here, shall we have another go? So, he's a unit, uh, the Grey 2, which can re-stand and attack again. And as pointed out to me, 
not only does it flavor text references, but it also has two guns, one at the ready, so he fires with one gun, restands, and fires again. Ah, <laughs> oh, fantastic. Uh, and where is Kelpie? Right here. So, Kelpie Rider Polo states that blue knights ride walruses and wield justice. But I'm not sure that's a walrus. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think she might have misunderstood what a walrus looks like. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's just the flavour text. Um, but yeah, that's just our general opinion on some of the more lighter, fluffy stuff uh, from the deck. But we'd also like to talk about sort of some of the sort of like combos and combinations you can do with the deck. Yeah, um, there's multiple ways in this deck to get Thavas' skills with the whole attack four times. Obviously, he's he would if you left him just normally with the two columns, he'd attack the third time. But with the help of Officer Cadet and Andre, yep. um, Alec Bors who moves back, a Battery Boom who moves back, Magnum Assault who stands back up, you can very easily get his fourth attack in, and also for his first skill as well, where he gets the plus one critical and your opponent can't guard with grade zeros. Very similar to an old Maelstrom card. Yes, it's a very nasty thing not being able to guard with uh, great zeros. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, as James said, um, there's lots of ways to get that fourth attack in using the deck. There's and multiple routes to it as well. There's lane switches, there's restanders, putting cards into the soul to gain that extra restand. You know, there's lots of ways to get yourself to that you know fourth and beyond attack, which is. You know, a main thing that Aquaforce does is the sheer volume of attacks. They might not be the most powerful, but they've got the highest volume. Hmm. Also, with Magnum Assault, you can quite easily attack three times. With his um, his skill of be being boosted, you boost with someone like Polo. Attack, he stands back up due to his skill. And if you if originally you put Andre back in, into the soul to give him the ability of standing back up. He attacks again, stands back up, gets another 2k, so he's on 13. And if he's not powerful enough to attack the Vanguard, you can attack with another column, attack with your Vanguard for the fourth turn, maybe get a stand trigger or a critical trigger, give him the power, give her the stand, and that's three attacks of one rigor. Yeah, I mean, this trial deck as a whole seems, it seems very solid. There's a lot of options, there's a lot of combos you can do with it. Um, I, I think the deck's fairly well constructed. I mean, how would you rate it compared to the recent G trial decks? Well, some of them work a lot better, like um, Titan of Beamfist, because he gets the extra power. You can switch lanes and then do that extra power, which, although the other trial decks have a very similar card, his works a lot better in this deck. Excellent. So, yeah, I mean, overall, I think we're all quite impressed and happy with this trial deck. We think Aquaforce has been given a big boon by having this trial deck and if you are looking to pick up Aquaforce um, ahead of the new releases then this is a perfect way to get started. And speaking of getting started, this is a trial deck after all, it is for new players to be brought into it and the trial deck is not just the cards, there are other aspects to it as well. Like for example here, <coughs> each trial deck comes with a play mat. The um, thing I quite like about this is well, that each trial deck comes with their own colour scheme in lieu with uh, the clans. Um, as you can see here, it's all nicely labelled out. You've got the Fanguard circle, uh, all five rear guard circles. The Guardian zone also gives you a brief description on uh, each of the triggers. And it gives you a brief explanation for the G zone as well. It's all um, correctly laid out. And on the back actually gives you like a brief rundown and description on how the deck works. It also has on the side here a little bit of advertising for Soaring Ascent of Gale and Blossom which uh, comes out in a couple of weeks. Yep, it's the second booster set in the new G series and it does have added support for Aquaforce. Yep, with Lambros and there is also added support for Thavas himself with the um, rear guard, like the grade one rear guard who comes on you get them out of the deck and put them into your hand. Also, this bit uh, shows you an easy way to get to the fourth attack in, a, uh, in an Aquaforce deck, which revolves, which is what the whole grade three revolves around. 
So for new players this is really good. It's something we've seen Bushiro do before with Y Schwartz and I'm glad they're doing it for card fight as well. So as Mick was saying, this guide here isn't just cold hard facts about how to play, it also gives you an idea of you know how to utilize the deck, how to utilize the cards, how to get to that fourth attack using some of the various combinations. You know, this is I think this is really nice for new players. I think it's a really good idea considering um, my prime clan that I tend to use is Bermuda Triangle. Um, I don't really touch, tend to touch uh, other clans, but looking through all these cards and how it's all uh, laid out, I'm quite impressed with it. So I may actually pick up this trial deck myself. Yeah, so that's the playmat that you get with it. The other thing you also get now is the starter's guide. Now before they just used to give you a rule book but instead they give you this guide. So it folds up in two different ways. The first way you fold it shows you the blue side and again this goes through the rules, nice pretty artwork all laid out beautifully. Uh, this is just explaining so the new G stri uh, the G stride, sorry, it's the stride, the G zone, the sort of new stuff which could be useful for even older players who are coming back into it. A nice rundown of the details on you know, the layout of the mat and the layout of the cards. You also have here a quick description of each of the icons, what they do, so for the triggers and the different abilities. Uh, you also get descriptions of the different cost images, uh, the cost icons, and the different zones. And then there's a guide here to show you how to flip it to the other side. Now, let's see if I can get this right the first time. So you fold it back over, and then put it into. Ooh. And you won't get this first time. <laughs> no paper cards this time. <laughs> so you fold it and ta da! Let's car fight. <laughs> <laughs> so the red side actually takes you through a first game and explains all the different things about how the term works. Uh, it goes through uh, how to ride, how to call rear guards, how to do the attacks, uh, how to defend yourself against your opponents um, so yeah it just shows you all takes you through an entire turn showing you all the little details where cards go and what you do so again for new players absolutely fantastic guide much better laid out than old ones um, it really gives you a good rundown on how to actually play so that's the trial deck in whole um, so I think we're, like I said we're all fairly happy with the trial deck we like I like the direction Bushy Road is going with these. Um, you get a lot more value in the trial decks now than you used to. Uh, as you can see, you get things like perfect guards in there now, which before was only the purview of people who were buying lots and lots of you know boosters uh, or picking up the singles. But now you actually get some in the trial deck itself, which means against other players you at least stand some chance. Um, and again, you get strides in, so their new mechanic like the new big mechanic stride you get straight out the box and can use immediately. Right then, I think that's everything we wanted to cover on this trial deck. So, do you like the new style of the trial decks? Do you like the direction Bushy Road is going with them? Do you think they are good value for the money? Do you think they stand up? Let us know in the comments below. So, I think that is everything finally. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you for watching the video on this trial date. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, remember to let us know in the comments any feedback you want to know. And again, all of these are available in single form on our website, bigorbitcards.co.uk, where you can also trade in cards towards new cards. And that's goodbye from me, Simon. Goodbye from me, James, and I'll be in future card fight videos. Uh, this is Mike signing off, and I'll see you soon, 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 soon. <laughs> Bye.